And welcome to that one show. I'm your host, Penelope von Bloombroom. And today we are having a special appearance from Nutmeg the Spice Bush Swallowtail Butterfly. Hello, Nutmeg. Yeah, we are so happy to have you on our show. I'm so lucky to be here. So, Nutmeg, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my scientific name is Papillotrogus, but some people call me the Green Cloud Butterfly. I prefer nutmeg, though. I'm from North America and mostly live in spice bush and sassafras plants. I'm one of many kinds of, sw of swallowtail butterflies. Others include tiger swallowtail and blue morpho, and so much more. So, <clears throat> so nutmeg, what sets you apart from all the other swallowtails? Well, spice bush, spice bush swallowtails tend to fly closer to the ground than other butterflies. And we are one of the few types of butterflies that flutter their wings even while feeding. Well, isn't that exciting? Where do you live at the moment? Well, I'm traveling a lot at the moment. You will see me in lots of woodlands, field, woodland fields, roadsides, and even swamps. I'm mostly found in the eastern U.S. and southern Ontario. Hmm. On... What about mating? Don't you ever want to settle down? No, not really. We will mate once or more than once. The, the once in during the mating season. So. Fascinating. Tell me more about reproduction. Now, as I said, we will mate more than once during mating season. Although, the fe more a female mates, the less likely she will again. Also, the males perform quite ridiculous courtship dances to attract females. Thank you, Nutmeg. We'll be right back after this break. Hi. We're here to talk um, to talk to you today about the art of laziness. Procrastination. It's not just a thing that you do. It's a way of life. I would speak, but I'm too lazy to. We just sit in our beds all day eating popcorn and fruit punch. So, for only $2,000 a month, you can help us help you. Help us get education. Education. Something I never got. Or if my parents enrolled me in school, I never went. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Laziness at its finest. That's our dog. She's also lazy. That's why she's our dog. So, remember, for $2,000 a month, you can help us get back on track. We need the money. We're lazy Americans. And scene. Those Very. people like totally weren't us though. Like, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What's to do with your growth and development? Well, after the adult butterflies have mated, the female lays their eggs on the undersides of leaves. When the eggs will hatch, the larvae resemble bird droppings, but later they will look like snakes with large eye spots. The larva from the pupa, pupa, which then go through metamorphosis and turn into a butterfly. Some keep her hibernate over winter. Their color might change from green to brown to resemble dead leaves. How do you protect yourself from danger? Well, when we are caterpillars, we have large ice buds and appear to be like a snake. Also, when we first hatch, we resemble bird droppings. Also, we curl ourselves up into leaves to hide us from danger. Well, thank you so much for joining us no. today. What? Tell me about your body structure. Well, we have various appendages such as wings and antennae. Our weight gain occurs during our larva stage, that is our growth stage for butterflies. Larva had crotchets, little hooks that prolong on our pro legs that help us grasp the surface of leaves, sticks, etc. We are very fascinating to think about it. 
You are fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nutmeg. It is my pleasure. Nutmeg. 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 I French. Nutmeg. Okay, stop. Don't forget to tune in next time for more exclusive interviews. Now go. Okay. My num 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 num. <laughs> <laughs> now put gun to a tree.